13 years. It doesn't matter. Is the PR split now? It is. For, okay. Yeah. There was a there is a pull in chat right now. Where the majority is saying Matador's got this. I mean, you are on winner's side. Smub does need to win two sets to bring this back. Yeah, the numbers are definitely in his favor. Remember, this is kind of a very different matchup from Little Mac. Wario's a very air-based character looking for aerials, trying to get big combos rather than raw hits with armored smash attacks. Mm. You know, you just finished playing like 10 seconds ago, so Smub's going to need to make some adaptations to his playstyle if he wants to keep up. Yeah, on top of that... Looking also, pretty good so far, though. Yeah, on top of that, also, if you play one set and have to hop into another, sometimes it's hard to clear your mental stack fast enough. You still have old habits from the previous game built in. Yeah, that's exactly it. Both of these characters, I believe, are... Both these players are solo mains, I believe. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Ridley Wario. Very fun matchup, in my opinion. Mando does have some secondaries. Like, I've seen the Mario, I've seen the Captain Falcon now and then, I've seen the Luigi. Luigi? Yeah, I feel like secondary is based solely off of move. And whoever less impressed forward the most. Well, being very patient with that recovery. Just gonna. Is that a two frame? Oh, tries to mix it up, but he's gonna get hit by the backer either way. Mando finding an opening right there. 35% and counting, but Smum gets out of that real fast. Yep, yep. Drops the combo of his own, though. I don't think he wanted to do that turnaround there. Wait a minute, Matador's cooking. Partially charged Waff, just going to do a bit more percent. Cashing out for the damage, which, I mean, I don't disagree with, but I also... I don't disagree, however... Uh, never mind, I agree. Yeah, Matador, it, you're fine. godlike. He, you're doesn't need, he doesn't need Waft. Yeah. You're brilliant. Like, there are a lot of Warriors who will use Watch, I feel like, as a crutch. Wait, you have to match Ooh, this. Wait. Oh, yeah, if Wario can make that back, Ridley definitely can make that back. Yeah, free. That's still a scary situation no matter who you're playing. Matador's playing too nice tonight. Dude, Matador's on fire. Yeah. Like, when you think, you know, Xanadu winners, it's like either... It's most of the time it's ZD, however... Smub versus Matador, definitely not what I expected going into this tournament. Yep. Up smash, gonna do it though, 111%, 1-1-1 right now, however... Boy, I feel like they got a bit of extra credit right there. I feel like up smash will be seen a lot more because Wario just likes to float in the air so much. But when he floats in the air, he's also deadly. Case in point, that back air taking away back game. I do agree with you as up smash is a very good option in the matchup. However, if you're playing as precise and as aggressive as Matador has been playing, then it's kind of hard to even get it out in the first place. I believe the move is frame 12. The back game. Uh, what? Uh, which move are you for? The uh, Ridley's up smash. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Not as fast as it looks. Yep, yep. If it's any faster, it'd be broken. But it is big. It is big. It'd be a big move. And it is strong. And it is disjointed. You can't ask for any more. Yeah, pretty much. Good fast full air dodge out of that combo. Some great spacing with the air right there. Oh, the Matador gets out of his advantage. Just, both players are just trading hits, not really finding a big combo or opening. He's got a, just a match fest right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Matador exploding right there with the up tilt. Rather exploding Ridley a bit. Ooh, you see that little wave land right there? Try to bail out an option from Slump? Matador. What do you play? He's, he's feeling himself so much, and it shows. Yeah, I'm loving the creativity that I'm seeing. I mean, why not be confident? You're on winner's side, and you get to just, you know, your comp. Your, Ridley is such a combo food character. Yeah, you're yeah. able to kind of just do whatever you want. Yep. Why not pretend like you're in a combo video? <laughs> Pretty much. Chef Wario in the building. However, Smup is in the lead right now. Had it a will. Try to find this kill right here with the back air. That is the move you want to be throwing out in this situation because Ridley will probably die at ledge. Not to dash attack, though. Very surprising, actually. Mm. He has the bike, though. What does he do with it? He's going to chuck it and then, yep, try and bait it out. out a neutral get it. Going to get a bit of more extra percent with that forward throw. Finally getting the kill. That back air, I mean, I thought it was going to get snuffed out by that up tilt right there, but back air definitely comes with a bit of buff to it. For the combo starter right there. Smub, though, fishing for that up smash. That might have killed, actually. He had a lot of charge. Speaking of charge, the partial loft. He's been doing them a lot. I, I wonder, I'm trying to think of why, because a full will definitely kill him super early. Yeah, he was like maybe like 
Right? Even a half walk would. Yeah. Going deep for that edge guard. I think maybe versus a character like Ridley, you kind of just want to keep the lead. Rather than, you know, try to just you get use it as a as a crutch, get that comeback. Honestly, I think Matador is just doing it because he wants to. I don't know if there's necessarily a strong reason to it. I think he's just catching out and getting damage and extending everything as far as he can. A lot of warriors do kind of, you know, get ahead of themselves by saving a waft too long and then end up not even using it. Or when they do, it's just so far behind, it doesn't matter. Maybe again, but. he just doesn't need it. Yeah. Because he seems to be finding the kills with anything besides waft. Yeah, And exactly. as warrior, that is very difficult. Because he is, I feel, a very telegraphed character. Wait. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. That's oh, it. yo. Oh, my You're God. You're at zero. Do people just not mash anymore? Why are we not mashing? I just what? scream at the top of my lungs for him to mash next time. He doesn't have headphones. I think he'll hear me. He definitely heard me. I'm, I'm asking this question. Why are we not mashing? There, <laughs> there is no reason to let that happen. The, that's the thing that you see with Ridley. He grabs you with side beat. Drags you down to the depths of hell, but Wario just giving him a taste of his own medicine right there. Call him not Chef Wario, that was Dr. Wario. I know Mador heard me there, because when, when I said, why are we not mashing, he kind of just like smiled and like nod. He's like, yeah, a little bit. I was <laughs> like, that should He's not a happen. actor. Yeah. Big combo from Matador right there. The set hasn't been as advantage state heavy as I thought it would. Well, for Matador, for Ma of Yeah, is. for Matador. He's kind of just... Doing whatever he feels like, and it's working. Yeah. He's just playing that well right now. It looks so fun to play like that, to be honest. You know, just going purely on instincts, I believe. Yeah. That's okay. how I see it. I could be wrong, of course. However, smub, calculated jump read right there with Ridley's, uh, I call it the Skyrim hitbox. It looks like the Skyrim logo. <laughs> smub about to, <laughs> almost gave him a taste of his own medicine right there. A little bit more percent would have put him in a tech situation. His tiny little gremlin foot did not just trade with that big Apparently motorcycle. It did. Apparently. Uh, well, it, this is a goofy game yep. when you get down to it. Smub, though, has a pretty good lead right now. How does Wario find a kill to down throw? Okay, that was actually very smart. I mean, for Mador, it's pretty consistently been back air, so the way he's teeing up for it. Or bike. Or bike. That just broke his spine. Yeah. Imagine if, like, Smash Ultimate had kill screens or fatalities like Mortal Kombat. Like you just see like a zoom into Ridley, his the bones being broken, and then he just flies off stage. I wouldn't want that. I don't want to see that happen to Isabelle or Pikachu. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would want that. I'm Pikachu glad. just gets incinerated by like Ridley's forward smash. You see him just disintegrate. Nope, not a fan. I'm glad we are rated E10. Pikachu. Uh oh. But. I mean, this this woman might not be rated. This now. is a rated R set right now. Ridley just devastating Matador right now. Yeah. Perfect spacing on that episode to throw the bike off stage. Gonna Ouch. gimp him with the not gimp him, almost gimp him with the fireballs. Wait, you saw that flash? He has the walk. It's time. It is time. But he However, has to use it now. He has, doesn't have a jump. He has to up here early. And Smub dropping Smub. the ball hard. That was a very hard throw right there. Whoever you pick it right back up with that forward air. Yep. We're right back to regularly scheduled programming with edge guards. 2-1. Madador still up Matador with Smub looking, on the board. Yeah, he was, Madador's been in a very good position the whole set, freestyling most throughout most of it. However, Smub saying, I'm not done yet, getting that game, like, deceptively well. Yep, yep, yep. He played very calculated, found his openings, and exploited them perfectly. Beautiful work. Are we going back to Battlefield? No, going to PS2. Back to PS2, I guess. The yeah. tried and true. Honestly, I would like PS2 a lot more if it had, you know, more music. I like Pokemon music, however, I kind of heard it enough. Yeah, this is the issue that we have in every Smash game, where the, just the primary pick just gets overplayed. You know, in Brawl and Smash 4, it was like Smash 4, which, okay and music. very boring music in Smash 4. Yeah, in, in this game, they stepped it up a bit, but, you know. But in this game, it's just PS2 all the time, and great music, but we've heard it all. Give us some poking. Give us some, like, um, I don't know, some There more... should be music DLC, in my opinion. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be, like, new, like, orchestra arrangements. Maybe just copy and paste. Yeah, just, just copy and paste. paste. Maybe yeah. get some fan arrangements in there. That's always fun. Yeah. I mean, the licensing would be a nightmare. But... It would be a nightmare. However, I feel like most people doing covers would be glad to be featured in the game. Oh, totally. I mean, like, remember uh, Cadence of Hyrule? I think that was, they had some tracks from, uh, 
I believe. Um, I'm trying to remember. Someone in chat might know. However, this game looking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? what did he? How? How did he do that? I've never seen that. How did he just drop off? He's you, magic. Do you just drop off the ledge and drop the bike as you? What the hell magic. was that? Magic. magic not yeah. Doctor Wario. Not Chef Wario. This is Magician Wario. Yes. Harry Potter Wario, <laughs> representing the House of Hufflepuff. Rep the colors, I suppose. This does feel. It really does feel like a Harry Potter monster, kind of. I think, think we read it. different books. <laughs> think about it. Definitely horrifying. But speaking of horrifying, this lead is a horrifying one to come back from. Even now, a full stock behind. Sure, you have Waff. The last set, or excuse me, last game, Waff was a non-factor. It needs to be a real um, thing right now. Yellow is Raven. Well, my bad. My bad. Up there, saving no the off. loft, I guess. He's been letting the rip earlier. However, I guess he's being forced to play a bit smarter, safer now. Yep. Born to mash, forced to neutral. Wow, with that back air not hitting because of the pancake animation. Ridley pancaked under a move. Good positioning from Smub right there. That Etzel somehow hit him before the back air came out. Yeah. Mad uh, needs his kill now. I and I think kill? that might with rage. Nope. Uh, yeah. Just quite, not quite. Knocking the last step down here. That certainly would have killed, but you're dead here. See ya. Just barely. But now you have full waft, 100%. It's still doable. Never oh, mind. I'm a liar. It. Don't listen to a single word I ever say again. Name a Harry Potter creature Ridley looks like. I don't know. Doesn't that series have dragons? I, I think, think it does. It's been forever since I read it. I watched the movies. I'm pretty sure it had a dragon or two. Yeah. I don't, walk, I don't rock with Rowling these days, so. Yeah. Not, <laughs> it's been a while since I've indulged in some Harry Potter. Battle, Mario, oh, right. Game five right here. Either Smub takes this game, gets the bracket reset, or we all go home for the night. Yep, yep. We shall one, see. Go. I'll be decided within the next couple minutes because these two are playing fast. This fast has moves. been a very back and forth set. Yeah. You've seen the adaptation from both players. Shifting their play styles ever more slightly to get the hits they need. However, Matt, he just found two hits off a motorcycle. That's funny. Big body problem. Big body versus big bike. Yep. Some up, doing a bit of air camping over Matador. Stuffs out his jumps with the back air and finds the chomp right there. Ch chucks the bike at him. Doing a bit of crawling, however, he was ready for that. Gets the tech. Yeah, super ready. I feel like on PS2, there's only like one angle that you'll really be going for. You're not trying to hit someone on that. Like, Dash attack kills. right there. Very patient recovery. I didn't think he'd make it back for a sec. Yeah. What is he doing? Turn around, then you grab. Or just up smash. Or just up smash. Just up smash. Okay, down that's, that's, attack. that's that great DI. That almost did it. Yeah. And this might be just enough? No, Smug. not quite. Smub being a bit scared, staying in shield. However, what the hell was that? He's coming through. Actually. He died because of that. Yeah, yeah. I think if Wario, even a bad door through the bike, Ridley Uppy probably would have gone through it. Hmm. Wait a minute. That bouncer sure. almost got him. Yeah. Great roll behind. Other Smub was ready for that. Good jump read. Smub having so much momentum right now. Dude, Smub with that. Oh my hell god. Is, uh... Gets hit by the back here, though. Waft is halfway charged up now. So just gonna air dodge out of that. He's getting called by so many arrows, aerials right now. And Matador getting a lot right now. However, gets clipped by Ew. the up smash. Barely taking him off the top. That DI was really bad. Smub needs one more stock to get this bracket reset. However, Waft is the thing on everyone's mind right now. Will he land it? He needs to now or never because it's been a non-factor for this entire set so Ooh, far. And I respect that. the effort. I respect the effort. He didn't trust his conversion, so he just bet it all. And now it's not on his mind, though. Now it's not on his mind. He might now be it's not on his mind, yeah. You can, play the, you can play the game normally again. Yeah, and that might just be what Mador needed, you know? That somehow won that interaction. Okay. Warriors down, so just getting past the grab. However, 
up throw, trying to get him into a bad position, but Matador finds his way down with the forward air. That would have been it if he was a little bit higher up. Yeah. Or rather, lower. Uh-oh. I did not it's so scary. Like that. I thought he was going to get side beat. Yeah. I thought he was going to get side beat. No up air. Smub, look at him. He's walking. He's creeping. A, there's no way that didn't kill. You have so much rage and Ridley. And, oh, that's it. See ya. Securing the bracket reset with and that we, command grab. I got to do it. Tradition. We got ourselves the bracket re re reset. It's been a long time since I've been able to do that. Can you do it one more time? It's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. <laughs> Let's get two because both these players playing amazing tonight. This has been such a stacked bracket. Being this far at all is a true sign yeah. of skill. And this is kind of what I was saying earlier, you know. When you play on point, when you play that precise. Dude, someone got 86,000 points from that. Damn. That's what, hey, I respect that bet. I respect that bet. You know, I want to make a prediction. How many points? I have 44,000 DG bucks. I'm, I'm going to make a prediction for all of them. Is this insider trading? What? If you're commentating? If you're commentating, isn't that insider trading kind of? Uh, I can have a preference of that being highest. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. But um, what I was about to say. I feel like... One of the things that um, happened that made Smub really come out ahead is he just stopped getting back there. Everything kind of started to fall apart as the back airs were happening. Yeah, as you noticed, Matador earlier was, you know, being a little bit unrestricted with his locks, but now he's being forced to save them, pick them carefully. Because, yep. you know, if you can't get kills with your regular moves, you're going to have to use Watch as a Waft as a crutch. Yep. That's kind of just Wario's character. That's what he does best. And not a bad crutch to have. Mm -hmm. All right. Good combo from Matador, evening it up real quick. Smell playing very patient at the ledge. Wow, that was a entire sequence is so well by Smell. Being patient and keeping him in shield right there. And you get that side B, coast to coast, so much damage. It's kind of fishing for F, F smashes, but you know Imagine what? That shield coat. Yeah, horrifying. Mub, I feel like, you know, keep it, he, he kept him in shield long enough to get just a raw side B in there. Nice. I feel like so alive. Kill. Yo, these Wafts are cursed. He hasn't gotten a single Waff kill against Smub all night. Exactly. As I was saying earlier, I feel like Smub is putting a lot of fear into the heart of Wario right now. Mm. That is kind of what you want to do as Ridley. That Still? Do it. He's, you're at 163, chasing him to the ends of the earth to find that up there right there. These guys do not want to give up any socks. They're surviving to like these up seen a percent. Yet he almost had to a dash attack with the worst DI I've ever seen. But I feel like still by, alive. I feel like by saying that, you know, he hasn't gone to single off kill all night, that'll be like the deciding factor of game five, imagine. Yeah. I'm calling it now. I'm going to be short and predict the future. <laughs> Very possible, but he needs to get there what? first. Starts from behind and starts low. Did that shield Pokemon really drops you out. He tried to jump. That is very jump, yeah. fair. Smub again, just. I think Matador shaking in his gremlin boots right now. Yeah. Yeah, he. Not say, not, not Matador's not a gremlin. Wario is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wario 100%. Wario's, Wario's shaking in his boots. Yeah. And Smub. Gaining momentum. He's won the last uh, four games straight at this point. That, yeah, that doesn't bode well. So much momentum. There Warrior was, a, was Warrior is normally a character that, you know, you kind of want momentum with, get these comebacks, kind of explode out of nowhere. However, Smub has been shutting him down at every alley. There was enough, don't quote me on this, but I remember seeing a graph breakdown of like, start GG brackets, how often someone who gets the reset, reset ends up winning the bracket. It ended up being like, in the ballpark like 65 to 70 percent of the time if you get the reset you bracket reset yeah if you get the bracket reset you end up just like winning the rest of the thing after just from the momentum that you build up so you know once you get that first reset the numbers are already against you. however this there's also a factor that matador just might need to wake up a bit more and that's also a piece of what i was saying before he was playing on all pistons before that burns a lot of gas a lot of mental energy as bracket wears on 
if you don't have the stamina, it just gets harder and harder to play that sharp. I agree 100%. This is not a battle of patience fundamentals at the end of the road. This is a battle yep. of stamina. Yep. And, I mean, once you get at the edge or at the end of your gas tank, then you start to fall back on things that you start to practice, the fundamentals, the basics. And, you know, Smub playing a strong... I'm going to keep it a buck. Ridley is a very cool character. Not the highest execution, you know? You can just kind of throw things out and hit yeah, them. Yeah, Ridley's advantage state is very good. I think it's very flashy, especially when you incorporate moves like back air and skewer. However, yeah, as you're saying, it is pretty easy. Yeah, like it's Smub who's practiced these two frames oh forever. He, he has those on lock, you know? At 11.30 on a Tuesday night, Smub's two frames will be on point, and you need to bring something to the table that combats that. When the moon is at a, at a certain position, he will hit this two frame. Yeah. Yep. The smub, however, is not a too much of a lead right now. It just took a second to look at who had what amount of stocks. Beautiful tech chase from Matador, evening this game of fast. Not even even. He's in the lead right now. As you saw, Waft just came on deck. Yes. Arrived a little bit late to the party, however. However. It might have arrived right on time, right when it meant to, because... Boom! Nah, 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 nah. These cursed wafts. Yeah, being sent the wrong way over and over. I wonder if Smub is DIing something. I wonder what has happened more. Smub getting a two-frame or Matador not killing off a waft? Uh, Either way, you get a lot of positioning and damage, so can't really complain. Bro, Matador got the late hit, like, twice. Matador looking a bit mad, Ador. Yeah, he actually might lose off this. Yeah, exactly. He might lose off of just late hitboxes. Th that would suck. Oh Ooh. my god. The bike actually saved him. I think um, the delay made it miss. Paddle being a little bit hesitant on a punish right there. However, clips the top of his head with the back air. Matador evening the setup immediately. And despite all of Smub's momentum. Yeah, stopping what um, Smub had built up. Four games straight. Stopping that is a tall order and. Matador managed to do it. Imagine if Smub gets a skewer before Matador lands a kill with Waft. I, I don't think there's a universe where you're skewering Wario. That's true. <laughs> I, Unless, unless he really, really conditioned the spot dodge. Yeah. Other characters I might like play into it's like, yeah, you know it's possible. Wario, Wario's just... Yeah, he's always in the air. It's yeah. kind of hard. <laughs> I would love to see it, though. Yeah, I will, this is one of those times where I love to be proven. Oh my god, 53% in the first 10 seconds of this match. Smub just can't get out of it. He gets out of the corner right as I said that. Yep, make the corner attack. look okay. like he's home. What is Matador doing? All these pops right here. He doesn't want to go down there. Smub was doing a good job covering himself with up tilts, so. Bracket reset definitely being a, a big wake-up call for Matador. He is playing beautifully right now. However, Smub. Never count him out. You have just the right spacing. Wario will never get it. Right, I think we're out of up tilt, up air range. Oh, Ooh, you're. The team combo right there. Bike and F tilt. Easy pickup. Yep. Trade from there. Still had the bike, but not quite enough. A for F from Matador, but Smub is going to take home the highest grade. I don't know who he got seen by. He just got, like, sent the same angle by up and twice. Yeah. Funny angle with that, too. Uh-oh, this is actually kind of bad. Yeah, that is very bad for Matador. Three, you make, you make this bad. Yeah, yeah. Smub actually could have committed there and maybe gotten, like, a suicide kill and been up two, uh, two stocks to one. Got to dash attack a ledge right there. Finds the back here, send him to the other ledge. He catches the jump, but wait a minute, is that dead? I think so. Smub, not yep. wasting a single moment, gets right back down there and finishes off his prey. Yep. One for the bike, one for the air dodge, and one for the road. Did out smash, okay. Yep. He's been doing that a bit more tonight, and I do like it. You know, if you know that they're going to neutral get up, that move lasts five years. Just, just throw it out. And it's very fast, so you can just react. Yeah. Smub, though. Not having any of it, any of it right now. Perfect two frame. Goes very deep for the edge guard. Makes it easy. We'll make it back though. Yeah, both of them have strong enough recoveries with their resources to be just fine here. Up throw. All right. Smub just air dodging. What was that? Interesting bike. I think he might. Have, oh, if he hit the bike, he could have rode the bike into a. Wait. Corner. 
but okay. I thought he's not rock. cashing out. Yeah, because he, he knew the kill was there. It. Yeah, didn't need it. Smub maybe holding out a bit there, maybe trying to fade back. But now things get scary. It's do or die for both of them, and Wario chooses to die. Someone in chat asked about the Ridley lore. Imagine if this is the Ridley lore. He just fights Wario. <laughs> Yeah. Wario Rip. banishes him to the realms of space where he will forever terrorize Samus. Yeah. Really That'd be lore really is, funny. Really lore is, in a nutshell, basically he hates Samus and kills a lot of people. Like a he lot kills people. a lot of people. A lot of people. Like, he definitely probably has the highest body count out of anyone in this match. However, sure. Wario's lore is all about making money. I respect that. I respect it. Let's see if he'll go home with a... First place prize bonus or the second place one? There's a big difference. Yeah. And one thing you also get by winning this set is pride. This has been one of the most stacked Xanadus in a minute. Absolutely. Both players have been playing extremely well all night. That the foreigner just invalidated the bike. What is going on? Oh, yeah. He converted off of that with a grab. He's kind of using it as like a pseudo Gordo in a way. What is. Like a uh, DD. Yeah, using it as a pseudo Gordo just to kind of throw out that hitbox and just run up on them, force an uh, interaction, and either get a grab and reset the situation, or just no win. way. I think you're Scott good. Does not miss these two frames. However, he actually that, saved Mador there. Yeah, he just saved him. Yeah, he didn't have a choice. You never. Yeah, you could have just. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Yeah, that wouldn't have helped anyone. That would have been funny though. However, funny is not what Smub's looking for. Finds the up smash, gets the first stock in this game for. Smub. Throwing out a lot of nares right now. Two stocks away from taking this whole bracket home out for a reset. Good tech roll for Matador right there. Smub pressuring him so well with these aerials right now. However, Matador finds an opening, pops him up into the air. Down See air. Huh? That move's so funny. That move is. Well, okay. A little bit of a command grab clash right there. Both missing, though. To get up through all of that. Uh, he ended up walking right into it. Tried to walk back, but, you know, Maddor kind of overshooting that back air for compensate. You needed that up air right there. However, this is actually pretty. One good Wario combo could bring this back super easily. Yeah. I mean, it is Matador Waft, so like it wouldn't kill if it ended in a Waft. Yeah, that's you true. You say that for sure, but The last Waft of the set will kill. I'm calling it now. This game writes itself, trust me. Well, we shall see. We have to get to that point first. Wait a minute. Why? If Actually, good. that was just a really good air dodge from Smub. Because who air dodges there? That's true. Who, who does air who, dodge? Who air dodges there? Someone who knows what's coming. I feel like I got hit. Even so, that was a very awkward position to use Waft. Not going to find it in Smub. Putting Matador down to his last stock. He got the bracket reset. Now he wants to take the whole tournament. One stock away. What is he doing? He wanted to go to ledge. That would have been it. See? Gordo. That was just what you would do with a Gordo right there. If you have Except it, if they block the it. bike is funnier. True. It's just a motorcycle. I mean, a spike ball with googly eyes is pretty funny. But I'm not. Bike is going to take it, though. Matador gets a bit more waft. He could just be back in this. I don't know how much he has. I I think he has about a minute. I'm not making attention to the timer. Uh, he used it, I think, like around 440, 450-ish. So he has around half walk at this point. That might just do it. It's Ridley. Yeah, However, he has to get Matador's a bit of damage first. Matador's have not been killing all day. Yeah. By the time... Oh, what the hell was that? What? That might that have was, been a torment loser. Yeah. He might lose the set off this. Good drift back, though. Somehow Smub did not get the two-frame right there. I didn't even think he had legend vulnerability. And Smub with the up smash and the pop off taking tonight's Xanadu Tuesday. Amazing work. You can tell he wanted that. He know. really wanted that. Working, crawling your way up from losers to take the whole tournament. Congratulations to Smub and Matador. Beautiful sets. Yeah. I loved every second of that. So much fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. But with that, that will round out our Xandu for the evening. Smub's still popping off over there. Love to see it. So big congratulations to him. Big congratulations to Mador taking second place. I'm just place. watching him just still and, pop off. Yeah. And big congratulations to Peanut taking third, rounding out our top three for the evening at Xandu number 508.
Numbers keep on going up. We still get some hot competition every week. But you know what? Even more hot, hot, even more hot competition coming up this weekend at the Arcadian.